For years we've been told the ice is disappearing. On our broadcast tonight, melting away, there is new and dramatic evidence of what's happening to our world. Now another report this week says sea level rise is happening 60% percent ice caps are most definitely melting. A report published in the last hour has revealed that the polar ice caps are melting three times faster than they were. In Greenland, a record 97% of the ice sheet thawed this July, as shown here in red. Today, it is losing ice five times faster than in the early 1990s. of the Greenland ice sheet is accelerating over time. So, of course, global sea levels are rising. A team of scientists who spent the last two decades studying the ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica say they've also found evidence of the effect the melting ice is having on sea levels. On the day the government published its long-awaited energy bill containing measures to address climate change, tonight's report suggests it may already be too little, too late. And that's led to a contribution of just over 11 millimetres to global sea levels. That's around a fifth of the total rise. All of those patterns are entirely consistent with what we would expect as a consequence of the climatic changes next to Antarctica. Really. While it takes a lot of ice to melt to raise ocean levels, they say that is in fact happening and they believe just an incremental recent rise of ocean levels made the damage worse when Hurricane Sandy hit the East Coast and took so much away from us. Information comes from a group of international scientists, Brian, and it shows that we are living climate change in real time. The melting accounts for 20% of sea level rise in the past two decades, according to the study, adding 11 millimeters. It doesn't sound like much until you consider it's like pouring in more than 26 Lake Tahoe's. Most of the people around the world live in coastal areas. It's where most of your major cities are because that's where ports are. And they are at sea level. So even small changes in sea level rise can displace millions. say scientists to act to try to slow down the impact of global warming if it's not already too late.